Welcome to Behind the Twilight Crowlight Mysteries, where we uncover the secrets hiding within the world of Crowlight. Episode 1 The Crowlight. Slowly, Karam lifted his head and looked at the Crowlight. A certain tinge of grey at the threshold that parted day from night. It never appeared in the city, only in rural environments with either no buildings or elsewhere, they have been raised less narrow to each other. And just as the birds stood for death, the crowlight was all that survived after leeching the land out, leaving it stone hard and cold, sometimes mixed up with the snow, rain and fog, or shafts of sunlight. It seems almost alluring, as if he'd just to reach out and to touch it, to feel that misty veil he knew from the old sayings and stories. Some people say Crowlight is just a superstition. For many it marks nothing more than a certain time of the year. Just another vernacular phrase for the cold days or a dark season. But much more likely for those who believe in Crowlight, it distinguishes a threshold occurring in natural landscapes. Unveiling times of change, appearing in weather, important decisions, or even special hours. Vaguely explained, it stands for in between, and it usually means change is on the horizon. No wonder because it deeply impacts the life of people who also live in between. Homeless and travelers, hermits and alchemists, huntsmen or mercenaries. Quolite turns up in all walks of life, always shaping the opposites of this mortal world. Day and night autumn and winter, between awakening and morning fire, twilight sleep, but also the hour of recollecting when corvids are joining the first bird songs. Sometimes it's even a guide for wayfinding. But not all secrets of Crowlight are already solved or even known. So, be advised staying careful when it dawns around you. Maybe it leads into another world. <laughs>